Letter B. Backward integration is a mergers and acquisitions term for a process where a company gains control of the firm that supplies them with materials currently through either a merger or acquisition. Bad faith is a contracts and business law term and is intentional deception or dishonesty or fraud. In law sometimes bad faith can mean an intentional failure to meet an obligation, which is why it is highly relevant in all areas. Bad faith is often used in breach of contract cases and in corporations directors breaching their duty to the corporation. It also gets used to describe the action of lawyers and judges who try to overstep their authority to accomplish a certain outcome. Bait and switch is a bad faith and dishonest marketing strategy used to entice buyers into purchasing a given product or a service, bait, but then seller either, one, switches out a high-end product with a lower quality one after a buyer accepts the offer or, two, after enticing a customer to check out a great deal which the seller had no intention of honoring, seller convinces the customer to buy a different product usually a higher price for a lower quality item comparatively. The classic example of bait and switch is a car dealer offering a brand new functioning Maserati, worth $90,000, for the low, low price of $15,000. Once people see they can get a steal they will head to the showroom floor, only to be hassled to buy a different car and definitely never getting the Maserati. Bankruptcy is a business law procedure which occurs when a company cannot pay its debts from current assets and must liquidate the company. Sometimes courts order businesses into involuntary bankruptcy and other times an insolvent debtor will declare voluntary bankruptcy. The public policy behind bankruptcy is to make sure that debtors, creditors, etc. are treated fairly and also to provide relief to a debtor so he can start anew. Beneficiary is someone who has a present or future interest from which they will derive an advantage, usually from something such as a will, trust, contract, or an insurance policy. Bill of lading is a document which serves as a receipt for cargo that has been received by the transporter, who must provide the document upon arriving at the shipping arrival location. The document includes the name of cosine or and cosine ni, the names of ports where departure and destination occur, the vessel name, date of shipping and arrival, a list of goods transported, marks and numbers on packages, weight or volume of cargo and freight rate. Breach